Oh, your pain is hilarious to me. <laughs> Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam. That's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming, and we are continuing to play Super Mario Odyssey. Mario and Odyssey. We just beat up a uh, a fucking brutal. It was fucking brutal. We, we brutalized them. Yeah, we did. And uh, now we're going to keep getting moons so that we can get out of the Snow Kingdom because Mario's a little cold right now. Uh, uh, like, but there's nothing it, I can do Homer's to change Odyssey? that. Homer's Odyssey? Was he the one that wrote? Yeah, Homer. Yeah. The Iliad and the Odyssey were by Homer. I really want to see Mario's Iliad next. <laughs> That'd be a fun game. What, what are you just, are you playing Pac-Man? What's happening here? Kind of, sort of. It's, yeah. It's... Like, this game is so creative that, like... That it's going to replay Pac-Man that's been played, like, since the 80s? But it's 3D pac Like, it's it's like 3D Pac-Man. And actually, this is nothing like Pac-Man, because if you I'm touch just... the ghosts in Pac-Man, then you die. As and opposed one, to... You just get tossed up in the air a little bit. This is just platforms. Um, but yeah, I feel like if I call attention to it every time this game is inventive and cool, then we'll only be talking... I'll just keep repeating, man, this game is inventive and cool, rather well, yeah, than actually playing the game and talking about anything. But I really like this mechanic. This if is fun. If you touch the ice, do you die? Oh, you better get that purple ice thingy. That looks cool. Everyone wants you to get him. Everyone. Everyone? Everyone wants you to get him, man. Isn't that right, everyone? Yeah, Corwin, we all want well, him to get him. Adam, you heard what the people said. I didn't. Could you, uh, uh, people, could you repeat that? No, fuck. Oh, uh, sure, no problem, Adam. We said we want you to get that. Damn it. Okay, well, I'm going to get that time when they said it. Uh, I was actually, I was distracted. Can you, uh, one more time, people? We said, Adam, would you go ahead and get that guard flipping floop flop? Ah, okay, flipping floop flop. Yeah, okay, yeah. I got it now. Got it this yeah, time. I, got it. Got it. you finally got it because I'm not speaking for them, obviously, but I what? bet they were getting pretty annoyed. I don't know. I, I don't <laughs> think they were, guys. What did you think? People well, were well, you well, well, right with it. We thought it was kind of funny, actually, <laughs> that you couldn't hear us. And also, fuck Corwin. <laughs> guys, I like these people. They're my these, favorite. These people kind of suck, man. What, what are you guys getting all up on? It? You're the best, Corwin. guys. Don't let him tell you otherwise. Whoops. Corwin, you're really dumb, and we think you smell like tuna fish. Tuna? I don't even eat tuna fish. You don't eat tuna fish? I don't eat tuna because I'm a goddamn human being. I love tuna fish. Like, actually, the uh, the thing that I like most, uh, you make mac and cheese with tuna and tomatoes. Mm. Oh, I just, just like I, I chunk actually... up some tomatoes and put a can of tuna in with your uh, your mac and cheese. Delicious, delicious. I just realized what I just did there. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it because it's it's a little horrifying, and I think this is something a lot of people can probably relate to. Oh, um... that's a dangerous assumption on your part. <laughs> go ahead. All right, so <laughs> he makes my... that assumption a lot, America. <laughs> I've got a very very tiny family, and in that tiny family. That is a somewhere. wonderful, amazing, she's a very sweet, kind, uh, older woman who is my aunt. And she's, she's really great. She's very old school. She's very Catholic. And um, I'm just like, oh, that's nice. You're a nice lady. But she recently discovered Facebook. Oh, God. So I got added on Facebook. Danger! <laughs> Definitely danger, right? So... The other day I was talking about on Facebook, I put up a comment about how uh, I really, really like this Netflix show that I started watching. Mm. And someone commented on, oh yeah, though they got two seasons of it, but the third season got canceled or didn't get made Whoa. or something. And I was like, God damn it, I love the show. And then later that day I get a I get Did a you get comment scolded for saying God damn it. On my Facebook, there was a comment from her being like Corey, which by the way, Corey is what my, like my family and people who've known me since I was like seven call me. Yeah. So she's like, Corey, uh, some of us really don't appreciate that kind of language uh, when you take the Lord's name in that way. Could you please not do that? And I was just like so shamed publicly, but I was like, I went and edited my comment, got rid of that part. And then, and then I added a comment. I'm sorry, Aunt Jane, I promise not to do that again. I will keep a closer eye on that stuff. And then just now we're recording, and I said, God damn it, and I immediately was like, oh, I want to not do that. And like, Just because eh. I don't want her yelling at me. Well, not <laughs> yelling at me, but just... Is no, it, no, it, yelling I'm just, at you. You're, I just, you're I just scared of your aunt. Bad. I feel bad. She's... I've got... Oh, don't you take my Goombas away. 
Oh, he took the Goombas. Don't you, don't you do it. Don't you do it, game. Because I think there's a bonus moon in here. If I, they're gone. Maybe mm. next time you won't waste your Goombas. That's fine. I got to go do the race thing anyway. <laughs> but I've got like three people in my extended family of like, just, just like my Arvin side of my family. And she's one of them. Well, no, four of them technically, because there's my, my uncle. <laughs> I just, uh. I, I, I so value you, them very greatly. You not, don't want to disappoint them any more than you already do. Exactly. That's, that's exactly it. I really don't want to disappoint them. They're all I got. Yeah, well, that's okay. I say, God damn it, all the time. Oh, well, <laughs> like you're on a near going constant to hell. She's basis. She's voting for me, so, so I'm just hoping. <laughs> Wait, is that how hell works? It's a voting system. Oh, ah, yeah. I see. Okay. That's why the popular people all get to go uh, live, 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 live eternally in the days of sunshine. <laughs> there we go. Words. <laughs> I was just waiting. It's just like he's uh he's having what, a hard what, time with English what, language. What do you do in heaven? <laughs> what what you, goes on there exactly? You live eternally in the land of sunshine. Sure. Not to get theology about it. Yeah, no, I'm theological. I won't even get any of that because I don't. I'm 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 more of an agnostic person. Let's stop talking about religion. Yeah, that's probably a good idea um, on the internet. On the internet, I love this like this snow mechanic where you can go. It's just so satisfying to just. Just to just knock it down. Wee. And that tiny little thing is, oh, and then it falls. I love this more than I should. Like, it's Literally. like, it's like popping bubble wrap. It looks like tooth decay. Like, you're it looks just like decay. the gum disease gingivitis. Gingivitis. Which I was terrified of that when I was growing up. Really? Yeah, because like every single commercial for uh, for toothpaste and toothbrushes Talking about it's just like, oh, it fights against tooth decay and the gum disease gingivitis. <laughs> it's always it's just like it it was this this ominous force in my life, just waiting to ruin my day. And now I'm a seal. <laughs> a big fat bouncy seal. Maybe now I'm a bounce all over this course and Coleman should shut zoo. up. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna be a bouncy in the zoo with you. <laughs> <laughs> and now I can start the race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like how this one's God. cool because he's got sunglasses. <laughs> Womp up. <laughs> this looks like a cool race. It I'm not is lie. so much fun. Like, I I think this might be my favorite part of the game is, uh, is this system right here. Whoops. Yeah. Whoa, losing it there. Yeah. Well, this is just training anyway. I'm just, I'm warming up. <laughs> Warming the up ways you're in the snow really funny. and cold and whatnot. Whoops, wrong button. There we Start. go. Are there other bouncy balls in this race? Well, yeah. Other, uh, how would it be a race? Well, well, it, it could be a time, time trial. Race, yeah. yeah. Well, those are lame, though. They are lame. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, end of conversation yeah, there. Just done there. <laughs> Times are lame. Let's talk about lame for a second. Do you hear about what EA is doing to uh, everything forever and how bad it is? Um, you mean their business model for the past 10 years? Yeah, yeah. I have heard about that. Well, I guess, uh, like, like it was something, it's it, something getting, about Battlegrounds. Uh, I, yeah, like, the, the I don't new, play the new it. Star Wars game, a new, like, Battlefront Star Wars game. Battlefront, yeah. Battlefront. Battlefront. They've really jacked oh, it up to, uh. Oh! That's all right. I can, really I can regain this. Uh, Piss a lot of people off for a very good reason. Yeah, what is it? Like, you can buy loot boxes that make you level up faster or something like that? Oh, there's something like that also, like,. It's it's basically they're making it a microtransaction pay to win type of game. Yeah, which it, in itself is just obnoxious. But they're doing it after attaching like an eighty dollar price tag to the game in the first place. So, so they're already charging you eighty bucks for the game, and then once you get the game, you have the privilege to give them more money to play the game. Yeah, and it's really obnoxious. Like, damn it, I I am personally like I'm I'm fine with games having their microtransactions. It's kind of how all games are starting to do it these days, which though is annoying because I'm I'm personally a DLC type person. I just want to <sighs> see the expansion come out and then I'll pay for the expansion and I'll play that stuff. But like I'll use uh, Overwatch as an example. Overwatch has a microtransaction sort of thing in it where you can pay money and they'll give you loot boxes. But anything you get out of it is all just cosmetic stuff for fun. Yeah, yeah, and, it's the, that's the Blizzard and, model yeah. in a lot of ways, and it's and that's totally a le legit, respectable way to do it. It's like, hey, you want some extra money because you want your character to have a funny looking hat? Sure, there you go. Yeah, but it's not going to make you do more damage or shoot people more clearly when you're playing the game. Exactly. 
However, EA is like, hey, we're going to jizz all over that with our bullshit. Yeah. And, and uh, that's, I mean, uh, like I said, that's EA's business model for a really long, I, I cannot stand I EA. Know. EA is so bad. Like, hey, uh, they, public they occasionally, EA. fuck you. I can't think of any games right now off the top of my head, but I'm certain that there are EA games that I like. EA has been buying up I every, just, EA just bought up the company that uh, made Titanfall. Really? And they're going to just ruin over that too. Yeah, yeah ruin that too. <laughs> that's why everyone gets upset when EA gets their hands on stuff because they destroy everything. I'm trying to, like, I feel like I'm going to need to list out when I'm editing, like, EA games that I like, if there are any. Because I can't think of any right now, but back in the old days, maybe there were good ones. I don't know. EA makes some solid, EA was really good for making their sports games because they... Yeah, made sports games better. Now I'm not a sports guy. I didn't play sports games, but I recognize that they are extremely su so successful just on that front that they are able to monopolize sports games, basically. Yeah, and that's fine. It's when they had enough money to just to start buying anything else that they wanted. Mm -hmm. And unlike like Disney, who will buy whatever whatever they want, but then they'll focus on trying to make something that everyone will like, which yeah. that's a whole different bag of beans we can go into sometime. But at least they're trying to put something out that people are going to like. Mm. EA is so blatantly just trying to grab all the money. Yeah. That yeah. it's obnoxious. Yeah, I agree. And on the next episode, maybe we'll talk about not EA for a while. <laughs> Who was in Rocky Horror between the two of us? In the original movie, which uh, one of the two of us Which one of us in acted Rocky in Rocky a Horror? stage production of Rocky Horror? Which one of us Answer down below. is in the film? Who needs to shut up? <laughs> I can give you a hint. It starts with a C and ends in Orwin. Uh, answer down below. <laughs> we'll record the right answers and give shout outs to people who get it right. Orwin's my alien name. Give us no, I am Orwin from Orbiter. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Farewell, humanoids.